so exact as the laws of nature. We can give you the precise moment down to the split atomic second for sunrise of any day in the past or any day in the future. For new moon for any day in the past or any day in the future. For full moon any day in the past or any day in the future. For tide and ebb for any day in the past or any day in the future. All these things are very precise. As a matter of fact, when we talk about a very precise clock or watch, that is based precisely on the phenomena of the laws of nature on which this is based. <coughs> now, where do you get, if everything comes from an evolutionary process, with regards to living beings, you can say there's adaptation, there's adjustment uh, to the circumstances, etc., etc., so the survival of the fittest, and other things that just fall by the side, and other things just somehow are able to adapt to new conditions. What kind of adaptation is necessary for sunrise and sunset? What kind of adaptation is necessary for new moon or full moon and what have you? What kind of adaptation is necessary for any of the other phenomena of the laws of nature? And yet, that is what science is or is based on, science is looking precisely for laws of nature. If somebody were to drop a hydrogen bomb on the very axis of the earth, and they would turn everything upside down, and all the present laws of nature would be gone, what would the scientist, if he survives, do the very next morning? What will we be doing the first thing next morning? Look for, Look for the new rules of the new laws of nature. Because without laws of nature, there is no science. Without laws of nature, there is no science. But laws of nature, yeah. okay, let's say. So the scientist has to discover what makes nature tick. Once I know what makes nature tick, now I can manipulate nature. And that's what science is. That's all science is manipulation of nature. That's really how we make our inventions. When I know how the system works, now I can invent these things that they work within the system. Because I cannot go outside the system. So therefore, without laws of nature, universal laws, this is also shame science. Now, universal laws, rules. Now, universal laws, rules. How can they just emerge arbitrarily? That makes no sense whatsoever. If something comes, it is an arbitrary rule, if arbitrariness is the rule, then arbitrariness remains right down the system. It's universal law. We, we, they, for example, they thought universal law went to the world was weird, or universal law... law that universal you, law? Well, I mean, not law, I mean, you know, not, not really No! Universal that, beliefs. Oh, universal beliefs means nothing. Morals. Universal beliefs means nothing. That's simply based on ignorance. Exactly. Well, That's simply any, any you, case, we always beliefs, we beliefs when people thought the earth is flat. And 99% of people thought the earth is flat. Including all the greatest scientists and philosophers. Okay? Why did they say so? It made sense. Logically it made sense because wherever I go it's flat. I've never seen the, the world curve down. Even today I can't see the world curve down. So therefore, it makes sense. Obviously, the world is at, 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 at worst a pancake. Okay? <laughs> the Gomorrah already 2,000 years ago, yeah, the Zohar already 2,000 years ago, said, no, the world is round like an apple. Dude, For that matter, there were some ancient Greek philosophers who also said that, that the world is round like an apple. Okay? But they were completely outvoted by, by the majority. Um, and people have reason for that. So that is ignorance. That's not belief. That's credulity. Credulity where you simply accept the first thing that your eye perceives and that's the only thing that makes presently sense to me. That's how we jump to conclusions. But they have well, universal that's physical yeah, laws. Like, that's not I, a universal law. There never was a universal law. When, when Einstein said, for example, that, 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 that the, the, the galaxy is always expanding, until then everyone, you know, everyone thought he was wrong. So therefore, like, so therefore, science changes every 10 years. Exactly. exactly. But so, I, I might want that got to do with it. I don't understand what you're getting at. What well, you saying is there's That's where, law, but there's not. No! I'm a Universal laws, there is a certain precision in the workings of nature. That whether we know everything about nature, that's a different story. As we discover more things, we discover more. And we discover what makes things tick. Whatever they discovered so far <coughs> is not wrong. It is incomplete. The proof that it's not wrong is that it worked. That's why all the inventions so far have worked as well. But we are at a standstill. As we discover something more, the technology can move further. 
because now we know all oh, there's a more subtle reason for it really and as I know this is a more subtle reason therefore I can develop a more subtle technology and therefore my inventions will keep proceeding what was till now was not wrong it was incomplete and we discover every day new things complete new new things and uh, the more we discover the more we go to more uh, refined reasons, more refined rules, and therefore we can go to more refined uh, advancement and development. But we are getting off t- a topic here. We, are, we started off with the question of atheism. So the athe- what are the arguments of the atheist? If the argument is simply I did not have an empirical perception of it, then my answer is a very simple one. You have no empirical perception of so many other things that you take for granted literally every day of your life. That you stake your life on. Why? Because you see the effects. Then I can argue the same, I see the effects here as well. If you stake your argument on certain philosophical, theological problems, as for example the problem of suffering, if God exists and God is the uh, benevolent God, and God is all good, etc., etc., then how could God allow suffering and pain and uh, what have you in this world? That, to me, is the only challenge that religion has to cope with. That is where a certain amount of faith does come in. But it's not a philosophical refutation. It's just a, a certain dilemma, similar to the dilemma that we have in regards to God's foreknowledge and uh, human free will, which is a dilemma, a philosophical dilemma. Where on the one hand, we know that if God exists, there must be total uh, God, absolute omniscience. On the other hand, uh, for morality and for Torah to make any sense, any divine law, for whatever religion, there must be a concept of total free will, because any law that is not coupled with total free will is a total absurdity. What's the point of putting a law if I really have no choice in the matter? So yeah, there's no accountability if there's no freedom of choice. So therefore, I know that both of these horns of the dilemma are absolutely true. How do I reconcile them in my finite mind? There I may have a problem. The number of answers have been given, but that's not for now. But, but here is simply a contest. Is there free choice? One simple answer is uh, simply that uh, God does not have foreknowledge. God, in effect, has after knowledge. To God, since to God, God is infinite, to God, past, present, and future are one and the same. Which means, what you are going to do 20 years down the road, God has seen it already. Not because he is determining it. But God is watching a video, as it, as it were. So God is watching a video of everything from day one, even from the people who have not yet been born. So it's not that God is interfering. It's not that God is compelling. It's simply that, that uh, he has this, at all times, without there being a change, for God is no such thing as past, present, and future. It is all present. The future is also present. And the past is also present. Now that is something, a concept which your human mind cannot possibly comprehend. Because the human mind can only work with categories of time and space. I can understand about here, and I can understand about now. I cannot understand about something which transcends space, or something which transcends time. So therefore, I, I don't know what that means, eternity. I don't know what it means, infinity. I can affirm the concept, I can give you the definition thereof, but I cannot uh, really uh, picture it, visualize it, uh, in my mind. Because this is beyond my experience. The only, the closest uh, uh, concept you could possibly have from that is, let's say you're sitting on top of a mountain, and there's a one-lane uh, curvy road all around the mountain. Uh, and f- coming from, f- from this side from below and from that side below. And one car is driving full speed this way and another car is coming full speed the other way. They can't see each other because of the, the corner there. Now I know they're going to crash. It's unavoidable they're not going to crash. But just because I know they're going to crash does not mean that my knowledge compels them not to crash. Because theoretically it's conceivable that one of the drivers will suddenly say, oh, shut up, I got my lunch at all. S- uh, slam the brakes and back down all the way the other way. Is that logically possible? Of course it's possible. Is it likely? Is it probable? No, it's not probable. Not if he has gone this far and then if he has to back down uh, backwards the whole way, it's unlikely he's going to do that. But just because I see uh, the unavoidable consequences of the actions what, as, what, what is happening here does not mean that my knowledge interferes in any way whatsoever. There's no connection between my knowledge, what I see happening, and what is going to happen. So likewise with God's knowledge and our actions. Oh my God. It still doesn't mean that we have free 
choice. Does, do they have free choice to drive on or to stop? No, they, no, they got a they car don't. back. Of course they do. What do you mean they don't? they don't. Why don't they have free choice? Because you didn't prove that they do. And, and who it, makes them drive? You said nothing comes from nothing happening. Who, who makes, who makes them drive? Who makes them drive? What makes them drive? What makes them drive? What makes them, what makes them, what makes them drive? There's different uh, what? Uh, processes that go on in my brain that make me do different things. Different, different causes that happen. When I see something come at me, I go like that. It's a reflex. Everything. I have the illusion of choice. It, it's, there's, there's processes. It's, it's cause and effect. Just like you what said. Made, what made you come here tonight? What, what made choice. you come here tonight? I, even if I can't pinpoint anything. What made you come here tonight? What made you come here tonight? What made you come here tonight? I can't pinpoint. Tonight? What do you mean you can't pinpoint? I can't pinpoint. It doesn't other matter. There are reasons. There are reasons. Do you have other, so do you have other, you have other choice? So therefore. And you can go. I have the illusion of you can, you, So therefore, you can go and kill him right now. Right. And you have nothing to worry about. Because you have no free choice. It's not your fault. But that's what you're you're a robot. Am I killing him right now? You're a robot. Am I killing him? I'm asking you. Am if, I a robot? If, I, if, if, if I, if I, if you, if you, if, can I, if, make I, the argument if I, feel, I if I feel like killing somebody, would you hold me accountable? No, but I will, I, I will put you in jail. Why? Because I, I have no choice. What oh, because you, you have no choice in putting me in jail. So it's not that you t t uh, b b b believe in. It's not that you believe in justice. It's not that you. I be do believe in justice. No, you don't. I no. To believe in justice. <laughs> You're contradicting yourself. There's no such thing as justice. Right, there is no such a thing. Okay, so therefore you do not believe in justice. So therefore if I kill somebody, then it's simply a reflex reaction on your part that you will kill somebody else, that you execute the murderer, or that you lock him up in jail, or that you do other things. So therefore things here are really, it's a jungle. Yeah. yeah. So therefore there's no accountability. There is accountability. Huh? There is accountability. No! Accountability means thinking and choosing. You're telling me I can't hold somebody accountable, but yes. I'm telling you I do and I am doing no, it. No, then that's that, not a choice that I can If you hold somebody accountable, no if you hold somebody accountable, you say he's responsible for his actions. If he is responsible for his actions, this means he can it's choose. In context. No, it doesn't mean he can choose. That's means, exactly what it means. It means that we all admit that you're, there's the you're, you're, play, you're playing with words. You're playing with words. You're playing with words. No! Accountability means responsibility. Responsibility means choice. Well, if I say that somebody... Then don't use his words. Then don't use his words. That we have free choice. So you're going to say somebody is accountable. That's why I but, prove that free choice But you, exists. you are the one who said you hold in accountability. You are the one that who says... That means, that means in my mind... No, I, say who, I don't care about your mind. ...should be punished, ought to be, whatever I say. In reality, he doesn't ought to be in there. He doesn't, should be in objective reality. But that's the way I see it. That's the way I no, think. And I don't no. choose to think If you, you see it now that you are a robot. That's the way you see yourself. If you see yourself as a robot, then forget about words like accountability and responsibility. Forget about the way I place. see myself, alright? That's, that's, I see myself just the way you see okay. yourself. It's just no, no! You are the one who said that that's the way you really are. That you are a robot. No, I didn't say that yes. I'm a robot. Yes, you did. Not a robot. You didn't a use robot, the word. A robot doesn't have consciousness, and a robot... A robot Neither do you. A, a, Neither do you if you have I no freedom of choice. No. Why? Why does if you have no choice, no, you are simply the program working itself out. Yes. That's the same as the computer has no consciousness. I know that I exist, and I can't prove it to you, but I know that I exist. I can't prove it to you absolutely, and you can't prove it to me. I know that I am conscious. Do you know that you are conscious? You can't prove it to me, I can't prove it to you. But if I don't believe that you exist, why should I answer you? <laughs> you don't have to answer me. You don't have to answer me, and it's not... I that you exist and I don't know you exist in absolute terms. So who are you talking like to? Who are you, walk, who are you talking to? I'm all talking to something that answers me just like when I play huh? chess. Who's, who's answering you? No, I play like, chess on the computer and the computer answers you're, you're, and I talk and you're, it you're, you're imagining You're imagining them answering you. You're talking to yourself. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> not probable, but so it's dream. Why not probable? Okay, it's okay. Proud, but still, you're not proving, and you said nothing comes from nothing, right? Nothing comes from nothing. How does, how does something that I, that I, that I do, something that I do, where does that come from? It comes from... Comes from you. It comes from where? From you. But, but that's, from you. It, that's not saying anything. That's all in you that's already. Yes, it's saying the car goes. Oh, Gewalt geschehen. Everything. If you say that you are there, and you wonder where do these things that come from you come from, 
They come from you because you said that you are there. What is you? What is what? Whatever you head? are, whatever you want to what define is, yourself. What am I? What are you? What does that got to do with it? Because you're saying no. I'm from you. you, I want to know what you is. No, you are you. Whatever you are, X. A big question mark. Okay. And that's, it comes from you. Yes.